Hey guys, Sourpeen here, and welcome back to some more Virtual Dex Project. On the last episode, we just went around going through the map, uh, exploring some places. That's what we're going to do today. You know, just going to show you some updates. We have 17 uh, gold points now, 51 Pokemon owned, 56 seen, partner still young, and everyone's in the 60s. So we're doing we're doing pretty good. All right, so now let's go back into the map. And I was in Mount Coronet. Sorry about that. I was in Mount Coronet because I was catching Magikarp. Uh, <laughs> I want to get my Magikarp collection done. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Snowpoint City. And we're going to head on over to the fight area since we've already been in that temple. And who's this? There's a face here. It says Aaron. Yo! I see you've met Sir Grumpface McBotherSome. Bet all my money he didn't even bother to introduce himself. Here, try showing him this key with a road time in your party. He'll listen to you then. Can't promise he'll be pleasant, though. Anyway, got any rare items to change to trade? I can give you some cool stuff if you de if you do. Alright, who are you? Oh, right. You must be wondering, huh? My name's Aaron. A I'm a trainer like you. Well, a virtual trainer. Well, let me... Oh, we're zoomed in. Okay. A virtual trainer, at any rate. My partner's, um, his sense of direction kind of sucks, so I sit here waiting for him to find me. Very often. He's probably off being lost somewhere. Sigh. Rare items. Yeah, rare items. Um, stuff that's hard to come across that's not, uh, good for much anything other than collecting, you know? Like, say, heart skills, for instance. Anything difficult to find that shops won't give you much for, anyway. I think I have a little something you might like. You do? Hmm. I'm not so sure. Try collecting some different stuff and coming back, okay? I'm usually hanging around here. So Erin is always here, uh, and you can give her stuff from like, like, oh, what do I get? I think it's, we get the Twisted Spoon from Yun. We come to Erin with the Twisted Spoon, and Erin will give us the, uh, the diary, I think it's called. And we can go get Mewtwo. Yeah, that's pretty much all Aaron does, though. And we did get that key so we can go get a road to uh, change Rotom's form whenever we want. Alright, so from the fight area, we're going to go to Route 225, and here's a Spearow. I'm going to go ahead and catch myself one of those. And here's a Fearow. I'm going to catch myself one of those as well if we can. Bam, got him. Here's a Raticate, getting some uh, Kanto Pokemon. Oh, come on, I want to cast Raticate. I don't know if we can find Radita here. I don't remember uh, if we can. Seems like we can't. So I'm just going to not worry about... Oh, nope, there we go. There's a Radita. Right as I was just about to leave. Oh, but it escaped. Oh, that's not cool. Come on. There we go. There's a Radita. And there we go. Now we go from the fight area to the survival area, which has nothing but a Pokemon. So let's go to Route 226 and see what they have over here. As I'm pretty sure they should have some different Pokemon. I hope. If not, we can just go to Route 227. Which seems like we're going to have to. Alright. So Route 227. Where we have some fire types. Here's Nummel. I will catch one of those. Here's a Rhyhorn. I'll catch one of those as well. And we're going to quickly run out of Pokeballs. Here's a Weezing. I'll go for that, I guess. Escaped. Alright. Here's a Weezing again. You know, if I see it, I kind of want to catch it because... Oh, right on. I don't want my uh, my count to go so far. Oops. Although I was unable to catch a uh, Chansey. And I wasn't going to bother looking for it because I'm pretty sure it has like a 5% chance of showing up. Here's a Skarmory. I wonder how many Pokeballs I have with all these Pokemon escaping. I have four left, and I think I've seen like five Pokemon. Whatever. Here's a camera up. Caught that first try. Here's a Skarmory. Cast that second try. No. Got you, fam. All right. Ghost Rhydon. Interesting. Nonetheless, it escaped. Let's try a regular Rhydon. And it still escaped. Looks like my Pokeballs are, like, doing absolutely terrible in catching these Pokemon. I'm pretty sure what's the other one? Ooh, cool looking Skarmory. Maybe we can catch that. No, we can't. Awesome. 
need a Rhydon and a Rhyhorn. Apparently Rhyhorn shows up a lot less. And we call it the Rhydon. Here's the Rhyhorn. Maybe we catch it on this one. Yeah, alright. And I believe one last Pokeball for the Skarmory. Let's see if we can catch up to one. There we go. And the Pokeball to catch the Skarmory. And it escaped. Alright. That's awesome. So it looks like we won't really be doing much in this episode. Uh, considering I just went ahead and did... Oh, come on. Wasted like 10 Pokeballs there. We could get Rock Climb. Um, or we can get that next episode. When I have more money. Or, oh, that was like an Emerald Camera. I didn't even realize it. Okay, so Skarmory. Um, I'm not really going to focus much on the... Uh, oh, crap, did I forget, forget to put myself on Do Not Disturb? Damn. Oh, well. I'll talk over. I'm sure you guys won't really hear the notification sounds. Okay, that one was kind of loud, and these will be popping up. Hold on. Okay. Now let's see if we can catch this Skarmory. So I'm hoping we can. Apparently these Skarmories do not want to be caught in Pokeballs. And I really don't want to have to use my Dusk Wall. Because I'm saving the Dusk Balls for whenever we run into uh, Thunderous, Landorus, Tornadus, or a Darkrai. Because the Dusk Wall is basically like your best chance at catching anything. So if I find those, I want to throw a Dusk Ball at it. I mean, I guess Ultra Balls work as well. Dust balls are the best at night, so. Yeah. Now, if this Skarmory would appear, that'd be great. I'm just, like, skipping over Pokemon all over the place. And there we go. There's a Skarmory. And no, it's going to continue escaping. That's just great. Huh. <sighs> Come on. Here's one. Can we catch it, though? No, it escaped. What? Oh, my God. still have yet to find ourselves a Skarmory, or rather catch ourselves a Skarmory. we found quite a few actually, but sadly have not caught any. There we go, here's another cool looking one, Argos of Silver Frame 2, and no, it escaped, here's the regular one, that escaped too, just every Skarmory I run into decides to escape the Pokeball, but I will not given to this I will catch the Skarmory like come on can you por favor stay in there por favor come on Skarmory I'm like missing on retro no I guess not retros but like slight retros because of this uh, come on like Skarmory, it's just a little Pokeball. It's kind of comfy for you. Um, it's comfy for all Pokemon, actually. Um, but, you know, I guess if you want to be all highly about it, even though you're not really a legendary and you don't want to stay in your Pokeball, I guess 
the big boys are going to have to... Look at that. That was like another emerald one. I should have caught that instead of the Skarmory. I'm sure that camera up would have enjoyed this Pokeball much better than you would have. Right? Of course, because you decide to not stay in the Pokeball once again. You know, if you could just stay there, you'll, you'll see how comfy it is. It's really comfy. I've been inside of it before. It's just like amazing. There's like a three-story... Uh, bedroom apartment there's a jacuzzi in the second floor there's a uh, what else is there there's like five bathrooms if you need five bathrooms I don't see why considering it's just you you know if you want to fly around and pee in all bathrooms then I guess you can there's like three dining rooms six kitchens you know how many friends you can have over in that one pokeball come on and I'm throwing the same one at you. Just realize how comfortable it is. Please. Skarmory. Skarmory. Come on. Skarmory. Come on, Skarmory. Come on, Skarmory. Alright, look at that. That was a ghost graveler. I'm skipping over ghosts for you, Skarmory. They're not worthy of this Pokeball. But you are. And you deserved it. Alright, we caught a Skarmory. And that's pretty much it. Um, I guess, no, we really can't. Let me see. Should have some uh, advertisement rewards here. 23 points. Exchange, and we have enough, barely, uh, to buy a few things. We're going to go to the shop for the key items. We're going to buy ourselves Rock Climb and the Super Rod. And I will buy myself Dive later since we don't really need it now. So, purchase. We have $32. Not much we can do, uh, uh, not like not much, much we can do, I guess. And uh, yeah, everyone's in the 60s. Uh, berries, let's check our berries. Not much. Check our Pokedex, see how we are. We should have five Pokemon missing, one being a Chansey, as opposed to the Onyx that we were previously missing, as well as these three and Darkrai. Now there's five Pokemon I'm missing. It seems like I'm missing a cricket tot here. Hmm. Should probably catch that. Alright. Well, once we catch 20, 39 more Pokemon, catch, not see, uh, then we will get access to the fire, water, and grass seekers, which each, each cost quite a damn lot of money. Um, then we can go ahead and catch the starters. We can get these spots filled up, and then we can start filling up all the spots, and then we can catch all the Pokemon, and we can become the Pokemon Master, and I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself right now. But, we'll leave that off for another episode. So don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, where we probably do some more exploring of the Sinnoh region. Until we, uh, explore everything, and then go to another region, and I do everything off screen. So, I will see you guys then. Goodbye.